This invasion starts with a sound like rain, but this isn't a cloudburst. Once a year in La Crosse, Wisconsin, in early spring, the mayflies appear. Mayfly clouds can cover an area of 4,000 square miles. They're so dense, they even show up on radar. As many as 18 trillion flies come out to play. The mayflies emerge from rivers, where they spent the last year underwater as larvae called nymphs. They hatch when the water reaches a temperature of 63.5 degrees Fahrenheit. As adults, they'll only last a day or two. Their lives are so short, they have no time to eat. They don't even have functioning mouth parts. Mating is their one and only reason to live. But they will only survive to mate because they emerge as a swarm. No predator could gorge themselves on this many flies. Mayflies navigate instinctively, using the light of the moon. But these days, that presents a problem. Millions of years of evolution haven't prepared the flies for a development that's only a century old. The electric light. There are man-made moons everywhere, especially near larger towns. These attract and confuse the mayflies. Roads and towns become overrun with the sex-crazed, light-seeking insects. 10,000 mayflies can cover a single neon sign. Though annoying, the mayflies are completely harmless, since they can't even bite. And as with any true swarm, there's method in the madness. In the mating dance, males fly up and down. Females fly horizontally. Using their longer legs, the males snatch a female out of the air and perform a flyby mating. Unfortunately for the females, the males aren't much of a catch. They don't have a whole lot of stamina, and they're not big on commitment. After just a 30-second romance, the females return to the river to lay their fertilized eggs, while their mates fly off in search of new conquests. The mayfly swarms appear, couple, and die in a brief blaze of sexual glory.